Welcome to Kalos' Gaming Table. I am Kalos. Technical Readout 3025 has a lot of classic mechs in it, many of them unseen. Today we're going to talk about a true FASA original. A light mech that the Lyran Commonwealth managed to keep control of, at least until they allied themselves with the Federated Sons. Today we're going to talk about Coventry Metalworks Commando. The Commando was originally designed for the Lyran Commonwealth in 2463 by Coventry Defense Conglomerate, later becoming Coventry Metalworks. At 25 tons, the Commando was a light striker and recon mech. The COM-1A Commando originally was just armed with a single large laser, which gave it an edge over mechs of the same weight class in terms of range and damage. If that laser was knocked out, however, the Commando would have to get physical or withdraw. In 2486, the Commando 2D debuted, replacing the single large laser with a few more weapon options. It continued to be a light striker, allowing it to get behind enemy lines, do more damage, go crit fishing with the SRM launchers, and generally be a nuisance to the enemy. Those SRM launchers were deadly against infantry and also against damaged mechs. The Commando quickly became popular with the soldiers of the Lyran Commonwealth, and the LCAF worked hard to keep it in-house. The Commando was not sold or traded outside of their borders. Even the Star League was not given access to the Commando. They kept it as a state mech for close to 600 years until the alliance with the Federated Sons, namely the birth of the Federated Commonwealth. Eventually, it did escape the stranglehold of the Federated Commonwealth and made its way into mercenary commands as well as periphery states. At a little over 1.8 million sea bills, the Commando is an affordable mech for any Lyran force. In game terms, it's 541 battle value, easily able to be fit in most forces. Spend a little bit more and you can beef up the pilot to a 3.5 or maybe even a 3.4. The Commando 2D is armed with a single medium laser, an SRM-6, and an SRM-4, each with a single ton of ammo. That versatility gave it the ability to spread damage around, and once the egg was cracked, it could start to destroy delicate internals. The Commando is encased in four tons of armor, making it fairly fragile against larger opponents, but it does quite well against mechs of the same weight class. If you have the option, and are just cruel, load up one of the SRM packs with Inferno Rounds. Heat is a mech's best friend, right? A popular tactic is to swarm several commandos on a single target, hammering it with SRMs, and then fade into the background while their target tried to return fire. The commando lacked the jump jets of, say, the Wasp, but it still has a respectable movement profile of 6-9. 10 heat sinks does mean the commando has to be careful when firing, especially when alpha striking, to avoid heat issues. Pick and choose your targets carefully and cycle your weapons to avoid heat penalties. The commando had many variants, some successful, some less so. In 3015, the commando 1B was deployed. The 1B was similar to the 1A, namely that it had a large laser. It also kept the medium laser. To fit the large laser, the SRM-4 and the SRM-6 were dropped, and in their place an SRM-2 with one ton of ammo was added. The Commando 1C was a less successful attempt at a direct fire support mech. It dropped the SRM-4 and the SRM-6 and replaced them with an AC-2. Sure, it had a much longer range than either of the SRMs or the medium laser, but it's an AC-2 and it just doesn't hit hard. The Commando 3A first saw action in 3025. It became popular as a hard-hitting mech, dropping the SRM-4 and adding a second SRM-6 along with a flamer. In order to accommodate the heavier SRM launcher, the Commando 3A did lose a full ton of armor. The recovery of the Helm Memory Core helped reintroduce much of the lost Star League era technology, and the Commando 5S was a result. It retained the medium laser, but the SRM-6 was upgraded with Artemis. The SRM-4 was dropped, and a Streak SRM-2 replaced it. Case was added to prevent total destruction from an ammo bin hit. The Command of 5S's armor was replaced with ferrofibrous and endosteel for the structure. After the capture of the Coventry factory, the Word of Blake released their own version of the Commando. The Commando 7B brought to bear an ER medium laser, two SRM-4s, and for infantry barbecue, two flamers. It also added jump jets, giving the 7B a movement profile of 694. In order to get all of that hardware crammed into the 25-ton frame, the engine was replaced with a light engine, and it also had endosteel structure. The Marion Hegemony made an interesting commando design, the Commando 4H. 
The Hegemony dropped all of the SRM packs and instead crammed six Rocket Launcher 15s onto the 25-ton mech. Let me repeat that. Six Rocket Launcher 15s. Oh, and it also added second medium laser. Now, for those not familiar with rocket launchers, they can pack quite a punch. Once. Rocket launchers are a single-shot missile launcher, and once you've fired them, well, at least you have your medium lasers. Each launcher, when fired, generates four heat, so alpha striking can get pretty spicy, especially since the Commando 4H has ten standard heat sinks. Make sure you have a great shot and hope you take down your target. On the upside, after firing all of those rocket launchers, you won't have to worry about an ammo explosion. The success of the Commando was carried all the way into the Ill Clan era, namely with the Commando 9S. It's armed with a light PPC in its left arm, as well as two MML-3 launchers. The multi-missile launchers gives the Commando the flexibility to fire either LRMs or SRMs. Two one-shot SRM-2s round out the 9S's armaments. The Commando 9S had to swap out its fusion engine for an XL engine to cram the, all that missile goodness into its 25 tons. Endosteel also helps with the weight savings. To make things really interesting, the 9S also has a supercharger, giving it a potential movement of 71114. The Liren Commonwealth members of the SLDF took their commandos with them on General Kerensky's exodus. As with a lot of Intersphere mechs, the Commando got the 2C treatment. Clan Goliath Scorpion redesigned the Commando. Because the clans don't know how to hold back, it was armed with two ER medium lasers, a single SRM-6, and three SRM-4s. The weight savings of Endosteel helped allow for such an arsenal on such a small mech. It maintained the 6-9 movement profile, but after the advent of Omni mechs, the Commando 2C was relegated to garrison duties. But let's face it, you could do worse. Far worse. The Commando was a FASA original mech and has stood the test of time. Unlike a lot of the unseen mechs, it was pretty simple, with a decent amount of armor for a 25-ton mech, and a well-planned out weapons loadout. The Commando can be annoying in the HPS Battletech game, especially early on when you see a lot of them. Those SRM barrages, often from multiple Commandos, can be infuriating. When FASA was attempting to break into the Japanese tabletop game market, they commissioned a lot of their mechs to be redesigned to fit that market. This is the Commando from that. It's not bad looking, and it's better looking than some of the other mechs from that project. I could see it being a 25-ton scout mech. If you're looking to get a Commando, you can pick one up in a game of Armored Combat. A metal version is available through Ironwind Metals. Or you can purchase one individually through some stores such as Ares Games and Miniatures or Fortress Minis and Games. To help out the channel, please like, subscribe, ring the bell, and comment below. For those who are able, I've also set up a coffee link. I did not create this channel with the goal of making money, but if you want to help me buy new equipment or purchase things to review, you can do so through the link below. And if you'd like, I can thank you in future videos. Thank you. The Commando is a well-thought-out striker and recon mech with enough variations to fit most situations and play styles. It's a light mech, but when teamed up with other mechs, especially other Commandos, it can wreck the Op 4, especially with the crit-seeking of the SRM launchers. It's a personal favorite of mine. Once it gets into position, it can exploit damaged armor and get a decent TMM. It's a long-lived mech, close to 800 years from the Age of War all the way to the Ill Clan era. Do you like the Commando? What's your favorite variant? Do you ignore it until it slams you with 10 SRM missiles, or do you try to take it out early? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next video.